Hi guys, we are back with the MCQs and this time it is slightly different. Instead of spending 6 to 7 minutes, it's going to be around a 20 to 30 minute session. The reason for that is that we are going to be doing case study based MCQs. Now the chapter that we are going to be covering is transfer pricing. Now let me say these things again. Do not neglect your self based paper. That could be a hurdle for you all in giving your CA exams. CA final exams that is not to tell you that join our course and all those things I don't do that in case you can study yourself please open the modules and try to be doing it I will never ever say that modules are useless or those things try to do the things by yourself in case you feel there is a need then in that case you can watch these videos you can join our course that is left upon you but in case you will open your books and study yourself there is nothing better than that and whether you join our course or you do not in any case our helpline for doubts that is our telegram id at the rate AJ next is always there like you know for your reference you can always try to come back okay for any doubt that you all might be having our full paper in any case is available now at a very nominal price so the details of that will be there in the description you all can purchase it there is no need to call you will read the description everything is given below the course will automatically start my solutions the way that i try to be doing will be there in form of a download section you all can be uh, downloading and printing the things uh, yourself okay so let's start it off this is the best chapter that we all have in your entire syllabus that is of transfer pricing there's also one topic which is there in your uh, direct tax paper that gets covered up from section 92A to 92F. But over there, it's all about whether a transfer price is arm's length price or not. Over here, it's not that. Transfer pricing is uh, set. So therefore, the departments can be treated as a profit centers. So therefore, in this case, the transfer price should be good for both the people. The case study that we all have selected today is an international one whereby there is a company that is there in India and then there is a company in France. Okay, obviously two different uh, entities in two different countries, different PAN card, different tax rates and then there is transfer price also which is there. Beautiful question. So let's start it off. There will be one question that is the main one and then there are series of mcqs for that it's going to be taking time please keep your calces pen paper with you ensure that you all solve with me okay so let's start it off so quick link this is the name of the company manufactures mobile phones at its plant in karnataka india the company also has marketing divisions worldwide one of them is in paris france the division in France imports 50,000 mobile phones annually from the manufacturing plant in India. So the manufacturing is done in India. Once you manufacture the phone in India, then it goes to Paris, whereby in Paris, OK, that company will be selling it further. Given below is some of the information regarding the divisions in India and France. Do remember that Indian division is going to be a manufacturing division. Whereas in this case, the France division is just a marketing division. It buys the phones, might be incur some SND cost or something, and then will sell off the phone in France. Okay, so there are six bullets or seven bullets that are there. I'm reading them now. Number of mobile phones sold by the Indian division to the French division. That's 50,000 units. So 50,000 units will be transferred from the first division to the next division. Okay. Means from the Indian division to the French division. Further, second, Indian income tax rate on Indian division's operating income. 35%. France or French income tax rate on the France division operating income that's 40 percent so boss there is some country whereby income tax is higher than India because most of the people think that the Indian rates are higher to be very honest in most of the countries income tax rates are higher than whatever is there in India now further full manufacturing cost per unit 12,000 now before that there was one line that I skipped import duty rate paid by the French division that's 15 percent now where did import duty come it's very obvious Indian division will be exporting the goods to France. That means France will be importing these mobile phones from India. At that time, you will import. Import duty will be payable. Further, full manufacturing cost per unit, 12,000 per unit. In case you all have your modules, obviously, full manufacturing cost. Manufacturing is done by the Indian division, beta. So therefore, in this case, uh, 12,000 rupees is a cost of the company in Karnataka, India. Further, 
selling price net of marketing and distribution cost in france in equivalent indian rupees is 18000 per unit i say could have come uh, put some complications over here by giving like you know the rates in the foreign currency also but they have done bit easier so therefore selling price ultimately the phone gets sold where beta in france na okay so therefore selling price over there equivalent to the indian rupees is 18000 and lastly comparable market price based on similar imports in france France in equivalent Indian rupees is fifteen thousand. Okay, is fifteen thousand rupees per unit. That is whatever is the data over here. What does this line mean in reality? See, if any company in France imports such phones into France from some other country at that time, it is approximately fifteen thousand rupees they all imported for. Okay. and that is why the next paragraph becomes very important the indian and the french tax authorities allows for transfer prices only that are between full manufacturing cost of 12000 and the comparable market price of 15000 per unit based on similar import of mobile phones in france so therefore what india and the chinese sorry and the france tax authorities have decided that the transfer price should be set between 12000 to 15000 not more nor less uh if you have finished of the chapter with me you all will understand that companies can manipulate the transfer prices to evade income tax okay so the authorities have decided that the transfer price can be between 12000 to 15000 okay that is one thing that the companies can decide import duty paid by the french division is based on the price at which phones are transferred that is transfer price see import duty if you all see above it was 15% okay that 15% was somewhere over here in middle on the fourth bullet now what these guys are saying that uh, the import duty is based upon the transfer price example if first division decides to transfer the mobile phones to the second division means the karnataka division to the france division at say 14000 rupees so 14000 will be the transfer price example transfer price will be uh 14000 so import duty will be 15% of 14000 i hope you all get my point import duty paid is a deductible expense for calculation of income tax in france so therefore this is a deductible expense something like say uh, any expense that is allowed in uh, indian income tax of section under section uh, 371 i guess okay further now this was a question based upon this what all other questions are there we are trying to be studying now okay first mcq number 1 i'm going to be reading two mcqs and then we are going to be solving both of them because they are slightly connected to each other calculate the after tax operating income of the indian division when transfer price is set at full manufacturing cost one sec beta full manufacturing cost was given to you as 12000 rupees check the fifth bullet you all will understand okay so therefore this question that you are solving that is transfer price is going to be 12000 and you have to be computing what beta you have to be computing the operating income of the indian division okay bring me the four options please 60 crores 9.75 crores nil and last one 12.60 crores okay you can try to think of the answer you can do your workings but i'm reading mcq part 2 and then try to work it out that'll be far better so mcq number 2 same question exactly the same one but then over here they have not asked you of the indian division mcq number 1 was calculate after tax operating income of the indian division this is of which particular division french division when the transfer price is set at full manufacturing cost that means 12000 rupees only four options over here as are uh, as 9 crores 21 crores nil and lastly in this case 12.6 crores okay so let's try to do our calculations now see you have to calculate operating income but after tax so therefore try to be reaching till pat how do you compute pat you compute pbt subtract tax from there how do you compute your pbt that will be sales minus cost okay for the karnataka division sales will mean transfer pricing sales because it will manufacture in india and it will transfer to the french division uh so therefore transfer sales minus cost will give you your pbt subtract tax that will give you pat but for the french division french division french division will be selling the phones in france correct 
So therefore, for them, their PBT will be sales minus cost. But whenever you're going to be doing sales, do remember, sales will be nothing but selling price only and cost will consist of it is purchasing the phones from the Indian division, but paying import duty also at the rate of 15%. So sales minus the cost will be giving you all in this case PBT. Subtract tax that will be giving you all PAT. Okay, let's start to work it out. Now, before I try to tell you how it is to be done, I'm going back once to my older screen to tell you the data. Now, try to remember some data that I'm seeing. Karnataka manufactures one mobile phone at 12,000 rupees. That is there on the fifth bullet. Keep that thing in mind. Okay, that is one thing. Second. France sells the mobile phones as 18,000. That is on the second last bullet. But read that information properly. Selling price, net of marketing and distribution cost in France in equivalent Indian rupees is 18,000. So therefore, we sell the mobile phone at net 18,000. Net 18 means it is after deducting s and if any. So therefore, that has already been deducted. So now only thing more that is to be reduced to arrive at the profit that is nothing but cost of the mobile phone. Cost of the mobile phone, you buy the mobile phone from the Indian division and you buy at transfer price. But whenever you buy, you pay import duty also. Okay. And there are 50,000 units that gets transferred from the Indian division to the French division that is printed in point number one of the things. Income tax rate in India is 35% and in France it is 40%. Okay. Lastly, what is 15,000? 15,000 is if such mobile phones are imported into France, then France companies usually pay 15,000 rupees for such phones. Okay. That is whatever is 15,000. So now the data is altogether clear. Let's try to work out the answers. answers. So therefore, un, in MCQ1 and in MCQ2, we are trying to transfer the things at full manufacturing cost. Full manufacturing cost means 12,000. And we have to be computing the profits of division 1 as well as division 2. Okay. So let's start to be doing that. It will be slightly better for you all that you pause the video at this particular level. Try to work out the answers and then continue further. Try that yourself. Now, I am going to be starting the answers now. See, let's try to talk of Karnataka, obviously in India. So therefore, let's try to be computing profit after tax. So therefore, for them, sales will be nothing but transfer price. Okay, transfer price is going to be 12,000 for this part. Some has told you they are going to be transferring at full manufacturing cost. So therefore, 12,000 rupees. Less cost. Now, cost will be cost of making the phone. So, cost of making the phone obviously is 12,000. So, obviously, profit before tax is going to be zero. Less income tax, no matter at what rate, it will be zero. So, profit after tax will be zero. Obviously, first division manufactures the phones at 12,000 and is transferring the phones at 12,000. There will be no profit, no matter whatever happens into number of units. If you want a total profit in any case, it's still going to be zero. Although number of units are 50,000. Now, this is simple. Okay. Because you're manufacturing at 12,000, you're going to be selling or transferring at 12,000. There'll be no profit as such. Let's try to talk of the other division. Other division is there in France, Paris. So what does the Paris division do? How do they earn profit? So they buy the phones from the Indian division and they sell. They sell at what rate, beta? They sell at 18,000 rupees. Less cost. Now cost, try to be thinking, how will cost of Paris unit be calculated? What cost they, they incur? Now first thing they incur s &D, but that 18,000 rupees which I showed you, that is after deducting s &D. So that has already been deducted. So therefore now which cost here? Sir, cost will be nothing but cost of the mobile phone. So, you will purchase the mobile phone at the transfer price. Transfer price is 12,000. So, therefore, 12,000 rupees will be my cost. But whenever you import, you are going to be paying import duty at the rate of 15%. So, therefore, see on the left hand side in yellow, transfer price is how much? 12,000. So, therefore, that 12,000 itself will become a cost for the Paris division. But then they'll have to pay import duty at the rate of 15%. So, 12,000 plus 15. So, therefore, that figure that will be coming now will be nothing but 13,800. That is 12,000 plus 15%. 
Now let's try to be doing exactly the same thing that we will have done before. Selling price minus cost will be giving you all profit before tax. Subtract tax at the rate of 40% beta. So therefore you will be arriving at profit after tax. I guess this is per unit. Please multiply by number of units. So 50,000. So total profit in this case is going to be 12 160 lakhs that is 12.6 crores so mind you first division will be showing a profit of how much rupees beta nil second division or second company will be showing a profit of 1260 lakh rupees okay so total profit that the company will be earning will be some of the profits of the two companies that is the holding company as such so quick link i guess that was the name of the company it will be earning a profit of nil from karnataka and 1260 lakhs from paris so therefore total profit that the entire company will be earning that is going to be total profit of the group will be 0 plus 1260 lakhs is equal to 1260 lakhs Let's come back to the older questions. MCQ number one, MCQ number two. I think we have answered them now. MCQ number one was calculate the after tax operating income of the Indian division. Okay. So Indian division <coughs> profit, I guess, was nil. So answer is C. That part is over. Then MCQ number two. You have to be computing the profit of the French division. That was 1260 lakhs. I guess 1260 lakhs is also 12.6 crore. So answer should be D over here. That is the correct answer. Okay. So MCQ number one, MCQ number two, both of them are done as such. Now further, MCQ number three, calculate the after tax operating income of the Indian division. Again, it is same as MCQ number one only. But when the transfer price is set at market price of the comparable imports in France. Now that thing was 15,000 rupees if you all remember. So they are saying if the transfer price now is not full manufacturing cost, that is of 12,000, but it is 15,000. Then in that case, what is the after tax operating income? The four options that are given to you are 15 crores, 9.75 crores, nil. And lastly, 2.25 crores. Okay. Think of the answer after we read MCQ number 4. MCQ number 3 and MCQ number 4 are same except that compute after tax operating income of which division beta French division. Again, transfer price is going to be the transfer price is set at the market price of comparable imports in France. So that in this case is 15,000. So therefore, the four options are 9.75, 3.75, 11.25 and lastly 2.25 crores. If you have studied this chapter, there's the right time to pause the video. Think of the answer, comment the answer for MCQ number 3 and MCQ number 4. Actually, my explanation starts exactly in the same way that we all did MCQ number 1 and 2 beta. So, exactly in the same way. If you all see Karnataka. Now, the selling price is going to be transfer price. But transfer price is not 12,000 anymore. It is 15,000. 15,000 less your cost. That will still remain 12,000. So, therefore, profit before tax is going to be 3,000. Less taxes at the rate of 35% beta. So that will give you profit after tax, but I guess this is per unit. Please multiply by number of units of 50,000 and bring me the answer. So total profit after tax, obviously, it is going to be 975 lakhs. Let's try to see about the other division. Other division in this case is going to be uh, in Paris. Now in Paris, try to be thinking selling price of the mobile phones is still going to be remaining. How much rupees are 18,000? But cost, your cost is nothing but transfer price. Transfer price is now 15,000. But please add 15% to cover up your import duty also. So therefore, 15,000 plus 15%. So that figure should now be coming to 17,250. Subtract profit before tax. Once we arrive at profit after tax, you subtract your income tax at the rate of 40%. Once you all do that, you start to arrive at profit after tax. That is 450. Please multiply by number of units, that is 50,000 and you arrive at the total profit of this division. Total profit of this division is 225 lakhs. So now if somebody asked me, because that is asked in MCQ number 5, that will be the profit of the entire company. So entire company's profit will be the profit, some of the profits of the two divisions, 975 lakhs plus 225 lakhs, that works out to, in this case, 1200 lakhs. So let's revisit MCQ 3 and 4. Our answer should be 975 lakhs and 225 lakhs. That is 9.75 crores and 2.25 crores. 
So MCQ number three uh, answer should be 9.75 crores because they are asking the profit of the Indian division. And then in the second case, it should be 2.25 crores because they are asking the profit of the French division. That's it. Further, which method of transfer pricing, this is fifth MCQ, is more beneficial for the company as a whole? But for the company as a whole, no, company will always want higher profits, right? Total higher profits, beta. Profit of the entire group, quick links profit. So quick links profit, if transfer price was 12,000 rupees, if you'll remember, was 1260 lakhs or 12.6 crores. But now if the transfer price is increased to 15,000, then in that case, the profit falls. Profit falls to 1200 lakhs or 12 crores. So I guess the first method is better. So answer should be A over here. That's the correct answer. That is MCQ number five. Let's go over to MCQ number six now. Now, this is where the things get a bit serious. Listen, MCQ number six, assume that the Indian division is charging the French division full manufacturing cost of 12,000 rupees per unit. So therefore, it's a first scenario whereby first division is transferring to the second division at 12,000 rupees. That is full manufacturing cost. If the manager of the Indian division wants to increase the transfer price to 12,001, that is increasing it by one rupee. Okay, that is transfer price is proposed to be increased by one. What will be the impact on this is very important, although not underlined. This is what will be the impact on the income tax to be paid by the Indian division. Okay. So how will the income tax in India get affected? Okay, the four options in this case, increase in income tax in India by 0 0.35 per rupee one increase in transfer price they are saying first option is that if transfer price increases by rupee one income tax will increase by 0 0.35 okay second option is what beta decrease in income tax payable by 35 paise okay per rupee increase in transfer price okay c no impact on income tax payable in india and there is no d option so therefore a b c are the only three options now one thing i can illustrate directly also uh, or I can make a statement and try to tell you. Let me tell you now directly. You try to think of the correct answer, but I'll try to say directly before I'll make you a look at the income statement after some time. But think of the right answer first. Comment below if you all can, please. Now, if you all will realize if first division's transfer price will increase by rupee one, beta its cost will remain same only. So therefore, its PBT will increase by one. If PBT will increase by one, income tax rate is at the rate of 35%. So therefore, income tax will be increasing by 35 paisa. So therefore, answer should be A. Keep that thing in mind before I illustrate you also. But let me read MCQ number seven over here. MCQ number seven over here is slightly different. You have to think exactly the same thing, but for which division? French division. I'm not trying to be uh, saying anything else except trying to read the same paragraph, which is exactly same except the highlighted words. Assume that the Indian division is charging French division full manufacturing cost of 12,000. If the manager of the Indian division wants to increase the transfer price to 12,001, that is transfer price is increased by one. What will be the impact on income tax and import duty to be paid by French division in France? Now, Four options, slightly bigger options. Decrease in income tax payable in France by 0 0.46 and increase in import duty payable in France by 0 0.15 per rupee increase in transfer price. Okay, this is A, B. A and B are exactly same except increase becomes decrease. So decrease in income tax payable in France by 0 0.46 and increase in import duty payable in France by 0 0.15. Per rupee increase in transfer prices. C. Increase in income tax payable in France by 0 0.46 and decrease in import duty payable in France by rupees 0 0.15. And D. Decrease in income tax payable in France by 0 0.46 and decrease in import duty payable in France by 0 0.15 per rupee increase in transfer price. Now, four options were slightly big, but I hope you all get the point. C. Again, I can make the statement and explain that I will uh, do that shortly. But in case you have to think directly for the French division, those guys are saying if transfer price increases by one, so therefore their cost will increase by one beta and import duty will be at the rate of 15%. So therefore their cost will increase by 1.15.
their cost will increase by 1.15. Income tax rate is at the rate of 40%. You all will understand if ever your cost increases, no beta, your PBT falls and thus your taxes also fall. So therefore, pick up your calci 1.15 into 40 percent see 1.15 is the increase in cost okay 40 percent of that will be your tax savings so therefore into 40 percent so therefore tax that will be reduced will be 0 0.46 obviously an import duty will be increasing by 0 0.15 beta if transfer price will increase by one import duty will increase by 0 0.15 so i guess answer should be b over here Okay, so I've already answered both these things, but now I'll make the statement and try to explain exactly the same thing. See, now if ever 12,000 becomes 12,001 now, see, this thing will still remain 12,000 only. Profit before tax will be rupee 1. Taxes will be 0 0.35. That answers that tax now. Earlier tax was 0 beta. When transfer price was 12,000, income tax was zero. But if transfer price increased by one, you all can directly think also if transfer price will increase by one, PBT will increase by one, taxes will increase at the rate of 35%. That's it. So therefore, that is your Karnataka answer. For Paris, try to be thinking, if ever transfer price increases by one, okay, earlier transfer price was 12,000 and you pay import duty at the rate of 15% on that. So therefore that had come to 13,800, that is 12,000 plus 15%. But now that 13,800 will increase by 1.15. Why? Because transfer price has increased by one. If transfer price has increased by one, automatically that figure only comes over here, no? So therefore 12,001 will come over here plus 15%. So therefore 13801.15. This is also nothing but 13,800. That was a previous answer when the transfer price was 12,000. Okay. But in this case, plus 1.15 because transfer price increased by one. So plus the import duty of 15%. Let's subtract it off profit before tax. That will be this much. Less taxes at the rate of 40%. I'll hold over here. If you all go back and try to see earlier your income tax was 1680 but now that has become 1679.54 pick up your calc 1680 minus 1679.54 that will be 0 0.46 that's it so therefore taxes over here will be falling for paris at the rate of 0 0.46 that's what i explained to you okay in case you want to be computing profit after tax then this will be your answer as such okay so therefore increase in import duty will be 0 0.15 because cost increased by one so therefore import duty will be increasing by 0 0.15 and decrease in tax in france due to increase in cost earlier that was 1680 now that will fall down to 1679.54 that'll be nothing but 0 0.46 and 0 0.46 i calculated it directly only how if your cost increased by 1.15 uh, your tax savings will be at the rate of 40 percent that is 0 0.46 so let's select are both the answers now so mcq number six income tax will increase by 0 0.35 so answer should be a over here that is whatever we told right in the beginning before making the statements also and mcq number seven over here if it will increase by one then in that case there will be decrease in income tax by 0 0.46 and increase in import duty payable by 0 0.15 that is there in part b of the answer so that's part b of the answer okay MCQ number 7 is all together done. Let's try to talk of MCQ number 8 now. Okay, good part. Out of all the part, this will be something that you will require good intelligence. See, MCQ number 8. Assume that Indian division is charging French division full manufacturing cost of 12,000. So again, we are back to the same thing that is transfer price is 12,000. If the manager of the division wants to increase the transfer price to 12,001, we all saw that. What is the transfer price? is proposed to be increased by rupee one okay so originally it was twelve thousand now transfer price is supposed to be increased by one the same situation but what will be the impact on the overall profits in the previous two parts it was on income tax now it is overall profits okay per rupee of increase in transfer price now four options again are over here now, what I can try to tell you, I can make the statement and explain that I will certainly try to be doing, but I can do it directly also. See, 
Try to think for the Karnataka company. If transfer price will increase by one, income tax will increase by 0.35. So profit after tax will be increasing by 0.65. Keep this thing in mind. So therefore, Karnataka's profit are going to be increasing by 0.65 for every increase. Okay, keep that thing in mind. Okay, further. For the Paris company, for the Paris company, if transfer price increases by one, that means cost will increase by one, but import duty will increase by 15% of that. So therefore total cost will increase by 1.15, but there'll be income tax benefit to the extent of 40%. So therefore extra cost incurred is 1.15, but 40% will be my tax savings. Pick up your Calci 1.15 into 60% because I'm incurring 1.15 extra as expense, but that is allowed for income tax. So 40% I will save. So therefore my post tax cost will be 0.69. That is 1.15 into 60%. So therefore first company's profit will go up by 0.65. But second company's profit is going to be going down by 0.69. So therefore, overall entire quicklinks profit will be decreasing by 0.04. Okay, that is printed in out of the four options. In this case, that is printed in part A. That is decrease in overall profit by 0.04 per rupee increase in transfer price. But let me try to explain with the help of statement. Should not be a very difficult task. See, when Karnataka's transfer price increased by one, it's PAT increased by 0 0.65. But when Paris cost increased by rupee one, that is same as transfer price increasing by rupee one for Karnataka. Okay. At that time, PAT in this case, if you all remember the earlier PAT from MCQ number one and two was 2520. That fell down from 2520 to 2519.31. If you subtract that, <coughs> 2520 minus 2519.31. So therefore that is 0 0.69. Exactly the same thing that I told without making these statements also. So therefore I've written that thing over here. Increase in PAT of the subsidiary company of the Indian subsidiary 0 0.65. But decrease in the PAT of the French subsidiary 2520 minus 2519.31 0 0.69 that I calculated as directly. Uh, I calculated uh, directly as 1.15 into 60%, that is 0.69. So overall profit fall for the company is going to be 0 0.04. So whenever transfer price will increase by one, company's profit is going to be falling down by 0 0.04. That is whatever was MCQ number eight. So answer should be A over here. That's the correct answer. Okay, Chali. So MCQ number eight is also done. How many are left? Yeah, big stuff, huh? This is. MCQ number nine, MCQ number nine over here is assume that Indian division is charging French division full manufacturing cost of 12,000. Again, back to the same thing. The manager of Indian division wants to increase the transfer price to 13,000 per unit. There's a transfer price is supposed to be increased by rupees thousand. Earlier that was 40, uh, earlier that was 12,000. That is becoming 13,000. Will be the impact on overall profits of quick link for 50,000 mobile phones transferred from India to France. So I guess those guys want the total figures. Please use your answers to question six, seven and eight for your analysis. I will ra I'll rather not use six, seven and eight. I will only use eight. If you'll remember our conclusion from eight was whenever transfer price increases by rupee one, company's profit falls by 0 0.04. We calculated that thing. Now under MCQ number nine, the transfer price is going to be increasing by 1000 rupees. So therefore profit per unit is going to be falling down by 40 rupees. So therefore for one rupee increase, fall in company's profit is 0 0.04. So therefore if transfer price increases by 1000, profit will be falling down by 40 rupees. Cross multiply, that's it. 40 rupees is per unit. Please multiply by number of mobile phones. That's 50,000. So therefore 40 into 50,000, that is going to be nothing but 20 lakh rupees. So overall profit is going to be falling down by 20 lakh rupees over here. Now, let me just see if I've given the explanation also. Yes, I have. 
for every one rupee increase in transfer price only see the below part please fall in the trans sorry fall in the profit will be 0 0.04 so for 1000 rupees increase in transfer price fall in the profit is going to be question marks cross multiply please it will be 40 and for 50,000 mobile phones, it will become 20 lakhs. So therefore, fall in profit will be to the extent of 20 lakh rupees. Okay, that's it. That's MCQ number 9. Answer should be A. That should be the correct answer. That's the correct answer. How many more? MCQ number 10. Based on your analysis of question 6 to 9, should the Indian division increase the transfer price to 13,000? That is rupee 1,000 per unit above the unit manufacturing cost of 12,000 obviously not because overall company's profit will be falling down by how much rupees beta 20 lakhs so therefore thinking from company's angle this thing should not be done so therefore answer should be b over here that's the correct answer that's one that's it i guess there were 10 mcqs which we all have finished this subject is pure common sense i'm repeating one thing because i'm not a marketing person i'm a person who loves teaching and i only rely upon my concepts for everything nothing else no formulas no nothing pure common sense study this subject by yourself if you can open up your modules don't try to look for shortcuts the journey will keep on becoming longer for you believe me no matter what anybody say sometimes even i say that okay but do not believe Whatever you will get the knowledge from studying yourself, that is the best knowledge that you all can get. In case any help is required, we all are there, okay, then it is left upon to you, to be very honest. But MCQs, especially case study based MCQs are something that you should give lot of importance to, okay. That's it about this kind of a question that we had to be doing, okay. I'll see you all next time. For any other assistant that you might require, details are there below so you all can see that please. Okay, bye. All the best guys.